So we are doing a full body workout today in 10 minutes. We're doing 10 moves. You can use this as a workout on its own, as a warm up for something else, or even as an ender to a great cardio workout. So let's get started on all fours. So spread your fingertips wide and you're gonna have your knees underneath your hips, curl your toes under and lift your hips up nice and high. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna bend our knees and lower, tap and lift. So knees tap and lift. Inhale, exhale. So this is kind of warming up through the toes and the feet, stretching you out. And then it's also, you'll feel getting your heart rate up a little bit, stretching out your back, your hamstrings. Three and two, one. Stay here for a moment, take a couple breaths. I'm gonna give you kind of this little rest in between each one, just to catch your breath. Nice job, bring the knees down. Separate your hands wide. Step your knees back, bend, and we're gonna lower down for a push-up and press. So now getting into the arms, I promised you full body. So you can stay right here. Again, you can rest if you need to, or come up onto your toes and do a few here, okay? Your choice. So you can think about this as about 30 to 40 seconds of work and then about 20 seconds of kind of that little rest before we move on. So it's almost like a Tabata style, but only in that you're working through that about 40 seconds and resting in between. Otherwise, this is just our own, <laughs> our own little work, our own fun theme that we made up here at Jessica Volant Pilates. Nice job, press up and back and stretch it out. You can turn your palms up. Nice job, restack your spine. And I want you to bring your legs around in front of you. Have the mat distance apart. Sit up nice and tall, hands behind your head. You're gonna rotate, center. Rotate, center. And if you're looking for workout ideas or you're trying to get a little bit creative, right? And get out of the rut. Sometimes just that idea of timing yourself can change things up. I'll do that even with squats. So I'll say, okay, today's squats and lunges. So I'm gonna set a timer and I'm gonna do 30 seconds of squats and then I'm gonna rest for 10 and then I'm gonna do 30 seconds of jump squats and rest for 10. And kind of doing that can again, just change it up, motivate me, challenge me. And you can do the same thing with stretching. Okay, one more each side. So this is stretching and opening our upper back. Nice job, bring your arms in front of you, legs together. Inhale, exhale, curl, roll down. Just till you're at your shoulder blades. Bring the right knee in, the left leg is floating. You're gonna switch legs, switch. So we just got a nice open stretch for our upper back and our hips, and now we're moving into some abdominal work. We're gonna stay here for a few of our exercises, okay? <sighs> nice job, try to keep the shoulders off. Four, three, two, one. Lower back down. So when you rest here, you can let your knees come together. You can just let your knees sway side to side. Nice job. All right, knees in, tuck your chin, roll up. We're gonna do the same movement with the legs, but hands come behind your head. You're gonna twist to the right when the left leg comes out and switch, switch, switch. So I'm really rotating from my upper back, right? We already did a little rotation there. We warmed up for it. So getting into the obliques. And four, three, two, 
One nice job, roll down. We're halfway done, that's five exercises. We're gonna do one more here. Okay, tuck, roll up, reach the right leg up, left leg out, give a little pull, switch. <sighs> pull, pull. And remember, you're just doing whatever you can. Maybe you're doing five reps and taking a break. Or maybe you're doing just a little here. Or maybe you're doing it without the crunch. And all of it's okay, because you're moving. <sighs> One minute a day is better than no minutes a day. <sighs> Four, three, two, one. Nice job. Roll down again. Feet flat. I'm going to find myself on my mat because I have drifted. Feet are hip distance apart. Inhale. Exhale. Curl your tailbone. Roll yourself up. Inhale here. Just take a breath. <laughs> Nice. On your next inhale, lower your hips, tap the ground, lift, tap, lift. <sighs> Keep your legs hip distance apart. <sighs> so now we're getting into the back of the body. We just did a lot of abs for the front of the body. I promised you full body and balanced here. So we're getting glutes and hamstrings. <sighs> This is our seventh move, if I'm counting correctly. If I'm not, you don't have to tell me <laughs> in the comments. I will promise to still give you a full workout. <sighs> if you have watched enough Pilates videos, you know we're not great counters. <laughs> but man, we have fun. Okay, stay here at the top. Reach your arms back. Curl and roll back down. Nice job. Roll onto your left side. Come up to a high elbow. Okay, so I'm here. And I have my knees bent. And I'm going to lift and lower. So we're doing a side plank, but I'm going to add to it. So either stay here or lift the top leg. So now I've got shoulder, I've got obliques, and I have outer hip. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> this is a great move, one of my favorites in physical therapy actually and for a workout. <sighs> so I promised you no repeats throughout this workout. The only thing we're gonna repeat is this because we have to do the other side. Four, you got it. Three, two, one, nice job, come up. Just a little stretch. This doesn't even count as one of our exercises, <laughs> but you deserve it. Okay, other side. We're getting close, we're in the home stretch. Okay, bend your knees. You want a straight line from your nose down to your knees, and you're gonna lift and lower. And then lift your knee too. So when you're thinking of kind of that full balanced workout, I not only think about body parts, but I think about what plane of movement I'm working in, meaning we haven't done much for our side yet in this side plane. That's what side planks are so good for, that side stability through our spine, actually. So we want to move forward, we want to move backward, and we want to move side to side. Okay, last two. Nice job. Bend your knees. Come up. Reach it over. Sweep your legs around in front of you. Last move. We're gonna stretch it out. Have your legs straight. Inhale your arms up. And I want you to pause here for a moment and really reach as tall as you can and pull your toes back towards you. Then dive forward over your legs. And then restack. Arms reach up and out, find that space, dive forward. Restack. One more. Stay here. Find one more big inhale. Exhale, let it all out. And then restack. 
nice and tall. Great job. I hope you had fun. I definitely did. And that workout flew by. That's the fun part about doing something different. And I will see you next time. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by. Remember, subscribe to my channel and you'll be notified every time a new video comes up. Like and comment on this video and let me know what you thought. You can also always come over to jessicavalantpilates.com to find all the resources I have for living a healthy lifestyle, including full-length workout videos, healthy recipes, and a community I would love for you to be a part of. So I'll see you there.